Hi, welcome to Spice Up Your Blog. This is Paul Grow, the author of Spice Up Your Blog. And in this video, we're going to look at an exciting new release from Facebook, um, which is a new button which was only released today on the day I'm making the video. And this is a call the Send button. And it's it's quite similar in style to the Facebook Like button, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. But this one, instead of liking something and putting it on your Facebook wall, you're actually sending it directly to your Facebook friends and other friends online. So it's in our latest post here. Let's click into the post. And there's basically a number of options for this uh, send button. Um, you can send it directly to your Facebook friends via, the, via their Facebook email, or you can send it by regular email. So you can send it to just the friends at Gmail or at Yahoo email, or any email uh, account for that matter. Um, so I have the send button on Spice Up Your Blog. It's below all the posts. So if you scroll down here, you'll see it right here. When you click that, it basically opens up with the, the title and description of the post, the URL of the posts. You can add a message, um, add just a little message to people saying, you know, check this out, or I think you might like this. And in here, you add the emails of the people you want to send it to. So as I say, you could add in there your friend at gmail.com, your friend at yahoo.com, or whatever it is. Um, and you can also really quickly pop in, it'll open up names of your friends, and you can send, you can basically click down and have it send to all these friends via their Facebook email um, and the Facebook email that you're sending it to isn't a direct messaging on Facebook it's actually it's the actual Facebook email which was, was released not too long ago um, and you may not have activated your Facebook email and um, this will be your name at facebook.com um, but if you go to your messages page on Facebook um, if you haven't activated it you'll see a link up to top to get it started um, as I said, that will be your name at Facebook.com, and that's what you're sending this to. Um, now, in, in, down here, you can see the way I have it in what's called a combo, which is the Facebook send and Facebook like combo. And this is a very clever thing from Facebook. This basically lets you have both the like and send buttons side by side on your blog posts. And this way, you're not taking up much more, any more room, or you know, it, it just fits in nicely. Um, so you can have both the combo button of the send and like, or just the send button on, a, on its own as a standalone. And in the post, I'm going to show you, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add um, both the combo buttons or just the standalone send button to your blog posts on Blogger. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to have it down here like I have on the bottom of your posts and also how to have it at the very top of your posts, um, which are probably the most two most popular positions for, for what well, was for the like button and will be for the send button. Okay, so we have a test block set up and we're going to add the button to this so you can see exactly how it's done. So this is our test blog here, and we're going to add it above, above the post, right below the post title here, and then at the bottom of the post as well. Okay, so I have I start off by giving you the code for both buttons. So this is the code here for the combo button of like and send, and this is just for the send button, is this code. So if we go down, add the Facebook send button to your blogger posts. Okay, so we say for both positions in your blog's HTML hey, code, you need to go to your blog's HTML page. So in your blogger dashboard, click design. Edit HTML and take the expand widget templates box. So let's go to our test blog. I'm just going to click design from the from the nav bar. You can click it in your in your dashboard. And when we come onto the design page, we click edit HTML and we tick the expand widget templates box. Okay, so all that's done. Okay, so then A to place the button at the top of your posts. Let's scroll that up a bit. Find the following piece of code in your blog's HTML and paste the Facebook button code directly below or under it. Okay, so we want to find this piece of code right here. Now, what I've done is I've given you two examples. And the only difference is the second one is the self-closing. You'll see this, the forward slash here that isn't there. And depending on your template, um, you, know, you mightn't be able to find the first one, but you will be able to find the second one. Now, I've already looked at this, and I know that I need this actual second snippet of code. So I want to find this piece of code. Let's go back to our HTML page. What we're going to do is we're going to get up a search bar, which will help us find this code really, really quickly. So if I click and hold Control and press F, we'll see the search bar pop up down the bottom. And I'll paste in the code I copied. And as you can see, it jumps right down to where we want it straight away. If I click it again, it will highlight it for me. So there it is. And as we said in the post, we want to place the Facebook button code directly below or under it. Okay, so let's go up and grab our code. So we're going to put the Facebook combo button below the post titles or at the top of the post. So let's copy this. 
and we know to place it directly below or under this piece of code. So let's paste it in there, and that's done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the standalone send button at the bottom of the posts. So we can do that right now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the standalone code of just the Facebook send button. Hope it's not confusing you. And here we say to place the button at the bottom of your post, find the following piece of code in your blog's HTML and paste the Facebook button code directly below or under this. So we'll find this first actually. So class equals post footer. Let's copy that. Let's click Control F again and paste to jump, and you'll see it'll jump right exactly to where we want to go. And we have to paste the code under this. Let's make a little bit of room for it. We go back. We we'll grab the code for the standalone button, which is this. Hope I'm not going too fast. I don't think I am. I think you should be able to follow it along with looking at the steps here on the post. So let's paste it below the code we found, which is this. So we have that pasted in there. Perfect. So now we have the the like and send button out at the top of our post, and just the send button at the bottom of our post. So let's save our template. And we'll go back to the test blog. Once I can move this screen, there we go. Back to our test blog. Let's refresh the page. And there we go. You see at the top of our post, just below the post title, is the like and send buttons. If I click send, you'll see the name of the post, test blog 30, Lauren Ipsum. And if we go to the bottom of the post, just the send button on its own. And that's it. That's how to add the new, brand new Facebook send button to the top and bottom of your blog posts. And as you will be one of the first blogs to have this, because it's only been released um, less than one day, so you'll be one of the first blogs to have it, and people will be seeing this, wondering what it is, and start sending your content to their friends, getting lots of people onto your blog. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're watching it on YouTube or somewhere, there'll be a link in the description to bring you back to the post on Spice Up Your Blog um, with them codes. Thanks for watching.